I pray thee good, Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the Capulets abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. For now, these hot days is mad blood stirring. Thou art like one of those fellows that, when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps me his sword upon the table and says, God send me no need of thee, and by the operation of the second cup, draws him on the drawer, when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come, thou art as hot as a jack in thy mood as any in Italy, and as soon moved to be moody, and as soon moody to be moved. And what two? Nay, and there were two such. We should have none shortly, for one would kill the other. Thou, why thou wilt quarrel with a man that hath a hair more or a hair less in his beard than thou hast. Thou wilt quarrel with a man for cracking nuts, having no other reason but because thou hast hazel eyes. What eye but such an eye would spy out such a quarrel? Thy head is full of quarrels as an egg is full of meat, and yet thy hath, or head hath been beaten as addle as an egg for quarreling. Thou hast quarreled with a man for coughing in the street, because he hath wa wakened thy dog that hath lain asleep in the sun. Didst thou not fall out with a tailor for wearing his new doublet before Easter, with another for tying his new shoes with old ribband? And yet thou wilt tutor me from quarreling. And if I were so apt to quarrel as much as thee, a man could buy the fee with my life in an hour and a quarter. A fee simple? Oh, simple. By my head, here come the Capulets. By my heel, I care not. Gentlemen, good end. A word with one of you. And but a word with one of us? Pair it with something. Make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough for that, sir. Will you give me occasion? Could thou not take some occasion without giving? Thou consortest with Romeo? Consort? What dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us. Look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. Zounds, consort! We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw unto some private place and reason coldly of your grievances, or else depart. Here, all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look, and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I. Let's be with you, sir. Ah, here comes my man. Oh, hey, Tibble! But I'll be hanged, sir, if he wear your livery. Mary, go before the field. He'll be your follower. Your worship, in that sense, may call him mad. Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tibble, the reason I have to love thee doth much excuse the appertaining rage to such a greeting. Villain, I am none. Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest, I have never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise, till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as mine own, be satisfied. O oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission, Alice Dakota carries it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives, that I mean to make bold with all, and, as you shall use me hereafter, dry beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword out of his poacher by the ears? Make haste, lest mine be about your ears if it be out. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put thy rapier up. Come, sir, you are Passano. Draw, Benvolio, beat down their weapons. Gentlemen, for shame, foster this outrage. Tybalt, Mercutio, the prince, orderly, hath forbid this bandying in Verona streets. Halt, Tybalt, good Mercutio, you scoundrel. Mercutio! Oh, good Mercutio. 
am hurt. I was struck under your arm. A nerf on both your houses. I thought only for the best. But I was struck under your arm. Ask for me tomorrow, and you shall find me a grave man. A nerf on both your houses. Tybalt! This gentleman, the prince's near ally, my very friend, hath got this mortal hurt in my behalf, my reputation stained. With Tybalt's slander, Tybalt, that an hour, hath been my kinsman. O oh, sweet Juliet, thy beauty hath made me effeminate, and my temper softened, valor steel. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio's dead! That gallant spirit hath aspired the clouds, which too untimely here did scorn the earth. This day's black fate on mo days doth depend, but begins the woe, others must end. Alive in triumph, and Mercutio slain, away to heaven respective lenity, and fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again, that thou gavest me for Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads, staying there to keep him company, either thou or I, or both, must go with him. Thou wretched boy, that did consort him here, shalt with him hence. This shall determine that. The Benvolio! Your long sword, no! You fool! Ha! You fool! It's nerfed! Or nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Tybalt has been slain. Let me get some ice cream. Yeah, dude.